Hey Jim, this is Paul. Uh, we've got uh, Edna Joe on casters, and uh, we've pulled off the uh, the Texas numbers and the Chris Craft decals, and the decal on the Edna Joe, uh, the name decal on the transom. Got those guys pulled off, and it appears that there was a few coats of varnish over the top of all of those. So. Uh, we're building up uh, the layer of varnish here, and we'll be sanding for flatness uh, shortly. Uh, and we're also on a quest to uh, find uh, any uh, dents that need to be removed uh, along uh, along here. So um, the uh, dents in the varnish that will be filled. Uh, so the other thing you'll notice is that we have uh, we've de-waxed this. We de-waxed it with a, with a commercial de-waxer and uh, on a scuff pad. And then we, after that dried, rinsed and dried, we came back and scuffed it again because when it's wet, you can't tell if you've scuffed all the areas that are important to scuff. So uh, we've taken care of that issue. And um, so uh, uh, the, uh, um, this is ready. We're going to start this on Monday. Or at least next week, uh, for sure. Uh, for sure, next week. It might not be Monday, but uh, right now, I think uh, that's our plan. Is Monday and get, start getting our coatings done. Then you'll also notice that all your parts are stored in this. Uh, uh, it's an old flower cart, uh, actually, and uh, we've put canvas on it and uh, a clear cover so that we can see what we're reaching in for. And this is to keep uh, keep it all clean until we're all done with our process. All right, and next we have the engine to show you. The uh, the engine was uh, real bare to get out. Uh, the engine's actually longer than the engine compartment is from front to back, and it's also longer than the engine compartment is from side to side. So we had to go corner to corner, and we actually had to remove the uh, the generator in order to do that. These pulleys are real weak. They're aluminum. Um, they a lot of times they end up getting sacrificed, uh, and this one was no different, unfortunately. But uh, we actually had to raise we had to raise the engine slightly, turn it caddy corner in the engine hatch, then uh, rig here with a second chain hoist and pull uh, and tilt it in order to get it out. Uh, it was quite an operation. It actually took about 12 man hours uh, without my time. I didn't even include the time that I spent on it. Um, uh, about 12 hours, man hours, to uh, get the engine out. Uh, then, uh, of course, we tore it down to where we could get to the valves, which are down here, and that process took uh, about three and a half hours to get the manifold, exhaust manifold, of course, carburetor, uh, and fuel pump, and all these items off so that we could do the valve adjustment, which only took a couple hours. Uh, meticulously uh, check the uh, check the valves. Uh, uh, of course, you rotate the engine to where the valves are closed, then check your lash at each one of the valves, and you rotate the engine again and repeat the process. Um, so uh, then the reassembly, of course, you had to clean all the gasket surfaces off and so forth. The reassembly took uh, an hour longer than the teardown. So, uh, but she's all beautifully detailed, and uh, the um, and we've got spark plug wires to go, and then. Uh, this was the wiring that uh, was on it when we got it, and we're just going to put heat shrink over the ends and uh, heat shrink that, and um, and by doing so, uh, uh, make it look period correct. All right, we're going to run out to the trailer. <coughs> I know Matt sent you some pictures. We thought we'd do all the primary colors, um, yellow, red, um, so forth. Um, if we get into changing color, you know, that's going to take your... It's going to take a couple of days to um, get the sandblasting done. You know, got to, got to take everything off the trailer, take it out, get it sandblasted, um, and um, so it's not for the that doing that is not for the not for the faint of heart. Uh, we'll be happy to make it whatever color you want, and we've done it over and over again on a number of trailers. Um, I'm just kind of suggesting that for. You know, economic reasons, you might want to stay with the black. Uh, it's up to you. Um, so uh, I still need to get you the link for the for the wheels. I'll get that taken care of, uh, hopefully today. Uh, we have figured out exactly what we're going to do with your uh, target bunks. 
your target bunks will start right here on a similar bracket. We'll just match the bracket, uh, which will force us to make it, but we'll match the bracket. And we'll go from right here, on, uh, so let me back up so you can see the whole trailer, to right about here. And we'll be putting a twist in this target bunk from about 22 degrees at that point to about 45 degrees uh, up here. And so that target bunk will be a two before, it'll have a twist, and of course be covered with the same black bunk carpet. Um, yeah, so to get the uh, to get this stuff off right here and uh, and just recoat uh, black on the surface uh, and repaint it in black would be your most economical route uh, on this job. Also, uh, we're going to cut the bow stop down to see the green tape. We're going to cut it down to this point right here. That leaves you. That'll make it about six inches higher than the bow in transit. The bow sits down about right here. So, matter of fact, we can probably see where the bow sits. Yeah, here's where the bow sits, right here. Let's see if we can back up and get the green tape in the picture. Yeah, it looks like the green tape's up here. So about six inches. Uh, so when you're at the ramp, your bow will hit even lower, and then the bow comes up when you pull up and out at the ramp. So that's what we got planned for uh, the front. And of course, we haven't forgot that we need to repair or replace your uh, act brake actuator. So, <clears throat> so uh, obviously you, you realize you're in full process, uh, and uh, we we got you in at a convenient time uh, where we wouldn't have road salt and all that kind of stuff to worry about. Uh, and we had a little lull in the activity while we got you worked in. Um, uh, but uh, uh, so, uh, at any rate, uh, that is your video update for Friday, March 14th. Thanks, sir. Bye.